This video is all about styling jeans outfits to flatter your body. There's a very important style rule that helps elevate all outfits, but especially those with jeans, and that is called the rule of thirds. I'll explain this rule later in the video. In this video, I'll be styling three different types of jeans, skinny jeans, straight leg jeans, and boot cut jeans, and I'll be styling each of them in a business casual look, a casual chic look, and with boots. Before we get to the jeans outfits portion of this video, I want to explain quickly the rule of thirds, which is a style rule that is used in design, architecture, and fashion, and that simply states that thirds are more attractive and appealing to the eye than halves. So with a lot of outfits, you'll see a top one third and a bottom two thirds, which is more attractive and aesthetically pleasing for the eye than an outfit that's divided in a top half, bottom half proportion. I'm not sure why this rule works, but I've noticed that it always works in my outfits, so it's one that I tend to stick to a lot more than traditional style rules. This one is actually highly beneficial and very easy to implement, and I'm going to do so with three different styles of jeans in three different ways each. So let's get started. This first outfit is a business casual look with skinny jeans and this blouse is my favorite blouse I own. Um, however, the way it's styled right here, it is creating 50% of the outfit and then the jeans are showing 50% of the outfit. So that top half, bottom half proportion is just not as flattering as a top third, bottom two thirds. So the first thing I'm going to do is tuck in this blouse and that already instantly elevates this outfit now we have a top one third and a bottom two thirds, which of course honors that rule of thirds. But we won't stop here. I want to finish styling each of these outfits to show you how I would complete the entire look. So the second thing I'm going to do is add a belt and that's kind of like adding jewelry without actually overdoing it on the jewelry. So I love this hardware on this belt. It's got a unique geometric shape and the leather is a beautiful contrast to the other textures of the outfit. Thirdly, I'm going to put my hair up because the collar on this blouse is embroidered with such a beautiful eyelet detail that I want to make sure that that is being shown totally and not covered up by the heaviness of my hair. It's the lips that just look a little too muted to me, so I'm going to add a bold, rich, pigmented lipstick color. The last thing I'm going to do is add a handbag and a scarf. The last detail about this outfit that I want to mention is that these shoes were gifted to me by Ally in New York City, and they have custom widths for shoes. Highly comfortable. I mean, truly the most comfortable heels I have ever worn in my life. If I was still going into the office, I would buy so many pairs of these heels because they are so comfortable. I do have a discount code for you. It is $40 off your first pair of heels with Ally New York. So go down to the description because my affiliate link is down there with my discount code for you. I feel like I need to address the elephant in the room and that is the battle between skinnies or not skinnies. I'm curious, are you still wearing skinny jeans or have you moved on to wider leg jeans? This second outfit is a casual chic look and it's one that I've worn many weekends, but it definitely needs some styling. So what we have going on here is something that I see quite a bit where women think that if they untuck their shirts, it de-emphasizes the stomach. And as you can see here, it does the exact opposite. So we're going to update this look with the rule of thirds and some extra styling. And the first thing I want to do is tuck in this short sleeve sweater and instantly we've got a top one third, bottom two thirds proportion and it already looks a lot more chic. Next, I'm going to add this necklace because the top and the jeans are both a solid color. So I want to add a little bit more sparkle to this outfit. And lastly, I'm going to again add a handbag and a scarf. The reason why I chose a real pop of color, not only does it complement the color of the shoes, but having that third color as an outfit is another little bonus style rule for you. Three colors serving as the primary colors of the outfit helps the eye know what to focus on, and that's why I decided to emphasize the red in this outfit. With this third outfit, I'm really going to mix it up on you. <laughs> this is my skinny jeans outfit with boots. The start of this outfit isn't bad on its own, but I think the top being the satiny, the middle being dark wash jeans, and the bottom being these sleek boots, all of it is too chic, and I want to balance this out with some character. And the way I'm going to do that is by adding this velour hoodie instead of the satiny top, and that just kind of gives it a little bit more of a street style, edgy kind of vibe. 
Next, I'm going to add this baseball cap to, again, play up the street style vibe of it. And it has a quote from Schitt's Creek, Alexis Rose saying, Ill David. Oh my God, Ill David. Oh my God, Ill David. Oh my God, Ill David. And I love that because this outfit on its own without the hat isn't really saying anything about my personality, but that becomes a point of interest where when I talk with someone, that's the first thing their eyes go to. And then they're like, what's that? Or I love that show. And that's when I know I found my new best friend. Lastly, instead of going for a very structured bag, I think these jeans and these boots are already too chic. So I'm going to go with this a little bit more edgy bag from Rebecca Minkoff that has studs and some tassels. And so that I think is going to add a little bit more interest to this outfit. I'm gonna be completely honest with you and tell you I have never worn this outfit before, but it's because I've never thought about it. And now that I've actually styled it for this video, it's definitely going to be a go-to through fall and winter. So that's just another tip about playing with your style, trying to restyle older pieces and incorporate them in new outfits. And you can find some things that you didn't even know you liked. Okay, moving on to straight leg jeans. This is a pair that I've had for a couple of years from Frame in Los Angeles. The first outfit I'm styling is this business casual outfit. Now I've referenced in the previous skinny jeans outfit with the sweater that when you don't tuck in your shirt, when it's a tighter shirt, it's emphasizing your waist rather than disguising it. But even with this billowy shirt, it is not creating a good rule of thirds there. The proportions are way off. You've got a top half, bottom half. And so even just tucking in this shirt is going to make it look a lot more intentional. This is going to be a simple outfit to finish styling. The first thing is that the blouse collar and the tie already is interesting. So I want to pull back my hair to draw emphasis to that rather than distract from it. And just by pulling up my hair into a claw clip, thank you Lord for claw clips, just by doing that I am opening up the look and it doesn't look so heavy anymore with the hair in the front. Lastly, I'm going to add this beautiful curvature leather handbag and I like how this is kind of tying in with the tie, how it's got its own sort of movement and the handbag has its movement. So I'm really enjoying that final look. Now with this outfit, you'll notice that I have a top one half with the t-shirt and the bottom one half with the jeans. And then the boots are just kind of like an extra distraction. So instead we're going to apply the rule of thirds here. Firstly, by untucking the jeans from the boots. Now there are times when certain jeans look good tucked into certain boots with certain outfits, but this is certainly not one of them. And you can see already that the outfit is improved as far as proportions just by untucking these jeans. Next, I'm going to tuck in this t-shirt. I know, shocking. I'm again going to add my sort of edgy little backpack style handbag. And there's one little thing that's missing that I think will really complete this look. And that is the pink rancher style hat that I made a customized hat band for. This might be over the top. So you tell me in the comments, do you think this is a little too much or, you know, just enough? For this last look with straight leg jeans, I'm adding booties and the first alarming thing I see with this is that the cuff of the jeans is so big. I'm uncuffing this. The next thing I want to do is honor the rule of thirds by tucking in this sweater. So I'm tucking in the sweater and adding a belt. The belt works for two reasons. One, utility of keeping it tighter to keep the sweater in place throughout the day. And secondly, it adds a pop of color and a contrasting leather texture versus the softness of the sweater and the jeans. So that's really helpful in tying in the whole look. And lastly, I'm adding this thicker leather handbag again and we are finished with this look. The last pair of jeans I want to style for you are these boot cut jeans from Frame and they're a bit of a lighter wash than what I'm used to so it's going to be an added styling challenge for me as well but this first outfit is going to be a business casual outfit. I'm starting off with a finely knit copper colored tank top and to that I'm just going to go ahead and tuck in that blouse and that shows the rule of thirds, the top third and the bottom two thirds. Now this jacket is throwing off the rule of thirds just a little bit but I really don't think about that with outerwear because I'm never actually going to zip up this jacket. It's just an added styling piece and a little bit of warmth for the fall. So the tank top being tucked in is very important underneath this jacket. Secondly, I'm adding a darker colored clutch. It really depends on what I'm doing that day, whether I grab the larger handbag or the smaller clutch. 
And this is our final outfit for this video. This is both the casual sheet look and both of these outfits were with boots, so check, check. <laughs> the first thing I wanted to show you is that these jeans are too long because I haven't actually gotten them tailored yet. So I wanted to show you what it looks like before and in contrast what it looks like after the tailoring, which is for now me just rolling it up. The next thing is, you guessed it, tucking in this sweater top and that creates the top one third, bottom two thirds, and it looks much more balanced now. The next thing is letting my hair down because this neutral chop is very close to my skin color and the hair creates a little bit more interest and contrast in this outfit. I thought the final detail of this outfit was going to be the handbag, but after giving it a last look, it didn't look complete to me, so I added this rust colored hat and now it looks like it's ready to go. That's how I apply the rule of thirds to skinny jeans, straight leg jeans, and boot cut jeans. Let me know in the comments which one are the jeans that you're wearing the most, or if you're wearing flared leg or wide leg jeans, let me know that too, and maybe I can make a rule of thirds video for that. If you haven't watched my video on the rule of thirds for dresses, it covers mini dresses, mini dresses, maxi dresses, and knee length dresses. Ooh, that was a lot. I'll put the link to that video down in the description box. And while you're down there, please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos helping you curate an intentional wardrobe. I'll see you next week with a brand new video. Until then, take care.